Welcome back to a super special Costco haul featuring my favorite foods, noodles and soup. I crave noodles and soup all the time. I can eat it for every single meal. It does not matter the season. But because it's falling into winter, Ah, you see what I did there? There's a lot of ramen noodle products at Costco, more than usual, so I thought I would compile them all into one video. Of course, we've tried many noodle products at Costco before, so I'm gonna compile them all in the description below with the timestamps to the video, so it's like a giant Costco noodle archive. <laughs> the power I have! Costco universe in my fingertips, my raccoon hands. <laughs> Someone said I had raccoon hands. Thank you. No, thank you. Have you guys seen the video of the raccoon uh, playing with cotton candy in the water? Like. <laughs> and special thanks to Love Bonito for sponsoring this video, but more on them after we eat something. Okay, I'm super excited because I literally walked around this entire Costco to find this item and I finally found it in the corner. This is why you gotta sweep the aisles multiple times, but here we go. This, check this out guys. Taiwanese spicy noodle, fresh noodle with chili spicy sauce. Ah, oh my gosh, I almost tripped. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Look how good that looks. Let's try this. Taiwanese spicy noodle. I am so excited about this. It says fresh noodle with chili spicy sauce and it is heavy. Inside are the fresh noodles. There's eight. Wow, it is so heavy. <laughs> this is what the noodles look like. It also says fresh wheat noodles in the front. I feel like the portion is very good. That's like a very typical lunch and dinner portion. This paste looking sauce and then the spicy sauce. The instructions did say you want to put this in boiling water to thaw and then cook the noodles. This smells so good. There's something that's very nostalgic about this smell. And honestly, it looks good. It was super quick to cook up. I put an egg on it. It does look like some type of meat sauce. Oh my, look how freaking bouncy and chewy the noodles look. Mmm. Oh my God. Wow, that's, that's really spicy. <laughs> this tastes like uh, restaurant quality noodles, as if they just made it fresh but this was frozen. There's such a thick, wonderful chew to the noodles. It is incredibly addicting. The sauce, that's got quite a kick. A bigger sauce packet is like this uh, deep, savory, minced meat sauce, and it's delicious. It's very nostalgic. It reminds me of the Lulu Fan type of sauce, but look at that. Mmm, no wonder this is almost sold out. This is the perfect base for almost anything. I could eat this all three meals. The noodles are so fresh, and this is the real selling point uh, of this item. The fact that you can get eight packs of these fresh noodles, oh, this sauce, really good as well. And it's actually spicy. They indeed taste so dang fresh. Mmm. They have such a thick tapioca chew to them. You pair this noodle with any sauce, and it's gonna be good. So I was eating it and I realized that the sauce, it's not actually a meat sauce. The pieces in there, it has more of like a tofu skin texture. The sauce is made with soybean protein, shiitake mushrooms. So it's actually mushrooms in there. And the noodles are actually made out of tapioca starch, which is why it's so dang chewy. This is an absolute yes. I, I'm literally about to finish it right now. <laughs> I inhaled that, that was so good. <laughs> While I digest, now's the perfect time to thank today's video sponsor. Love Bonito. Love Bonito is a global online and in-store fashion brand that designs modern yet timelessly chic pieces that just keeps you coming back season after season. I love Love Bonito. Their pieces are modern, minimalist, and thoughtful. Like, look at this back. Gorgina! They actually listen to their community and focus on solving daily problems like having deeper functional pockets or padded tops and dresses. I love the variety of business chic pieces to flirty and sexy. Absolutely obsessed with their dresses as you can tell. There's nothing that fits my short petite stature more than Love Bonito dresses. Also their jackets are to die for. It's the perfect crop length. For y'all, Love Bonito shared with me a special promo code that would give you the same deal as their Black Friday sale today. Click the link in my description and use code LBXCUPATJ for 15% off your entire order, no minimum spend, 
I'm gonna list my sizes and you'll also see the pieces that I picked in the link. Go grab your favorites before they go out of stock. So I haven't tried the Zha Jia Mian. Now I have hesitation getting this because this is a huge box. This is also why it's great to be my friends because you get free ramen. I was like, can I just get a pack on Amazon? A pack on Amazon, $12.59. This is $17.99 for four packs. <sighs> Costco, you leave me no choice. Za Jamian instant noodle with black bean sauce. It is so heavy. It is a better deal just to buy the whole box. Let's open it up. Oh. Four of these noodle packs. Here we go. All right. Each pack comes with four of them. Yeah, that's what they look like. All right, one pack is 580 calories and it comes with the noodles. That's what they look like. One pack of black bean sauce. That's it. I can't wait to dig in. Very, very nice, round, thick, chewy looking noodles. Here we go. Mm, wow. That is good, Zajamian. Yolky egg that I made. Mm. Oh, life is good. Now I am terrified that I bought 16 packs of these because there's a high chance that I'm gonna finish it all. Now, black bean sauce, the best way to describe it, it's a very smoky, savory sauce with hints of sweetness. This particular sauce is on the sweeter side and it's actually quite delicious. If you guys see, the sauce is so thick, it is clinging onto those noodles for the dear life. And also, these noodles, they are round, they are chubby, they are delicious, they are so slurpable and soft. Mmm. The fact that you can get it you know, in a package like this, and it tastes that good. It's definitely a lot sweeter than other jajamian, especially jajamian you can get at the restaurant, but I really like it. It's not spicy at all, so you definitely wanna add your own spice. It's that wonderful base, really easy to cook up. The noodles are delicious, and there's so much sauce left, which means you can stir fry in vegetable or protein, and the sauce will coat it all really nicely. It's really good instant noodles. Delicious, I have nothing bad to say about it. Also guys, they have these little meat pieces in here. Oh no, they taste like tofu skin. Yeah, probably some kind of soy protein. They're kind of whatever, but the sauce and the noodles, really good. I got so excited because I saw this item, right? And then I saw the sale sign and I'm like, ah, oh, it's on sale. But no, this is for the butternut squash ravioli. <laughs> this is regular price. But here we have the kimchi hot pot udon right in line with our noodle video. Kimchi hot pot udon. I am gonna say, this looks really simple. This feels like an item that is, you can easily cook at home. Bags on bags on bags. The udon noodles, there we go. You have dry toppings. You have the kimchi sauce right here for the broth. And then you have an actual soup base. So in total, you have about four packages. Let's go ahead and make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't say that I'm impressed. Looks still like kind of whatever. Piping hot right now, so ah, I'm gonna wait for it to cool down. While we wait, a message from today's video sponsor, Love Bonito. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> but I am so impatient. I'm the type of person who has to eat their noodles and soup ultra hot. I gotta dig in, I'm just eating out of this. <laughs> mm. The soup is actually quite delicious. You know why? It kind of tastes like, <laughs> the soup from Shin Ramen, and it kind of smells like it too, except they added kimchi, the sourness of the kimchi in it. So it's like Shin Ramen instant noodle soup base, and then <laughs> kimchi. So it's spicy and sour at the same time. It's very savory, it's very tasty. And the udon noodles just taste like regular grocery store package udon. It's not even the really chewy and good kind, it's just kind of the regular, probably cheapest option kind. I mean, I think the thing is, it's not bad. It's just kind of underwhelming. Kimchi soup or kimchi stew is actually really, really easy to make. I have a few recipes on this channel. And also if you look at any recipes on YouTube, it's quite simple to make. And you can just add, you know, 
grocery store udon in it. Obviously, this makes it so convenient. Let me know if you guys have gotten it before or if you also kind of like skipped over it. It's just like, okay, not something I would go back for, unfortunately, even for the price and the convenience. I think I'd rather just make it myself. Well, now it's really, really sour. Oh man, now you can really taste that kimchi soup. But I will always give them props for the amounts you get. You get four noodles and the convenience of this item. There we go. Ew, hey everybody. So another one that I haven't tried yet is this Snapdragon Miso Ramen. Now, Snapdragon is the brand that does the pho, which I actually really like. I really enjoy it. So we're gonna try this one and see if it's just as good. Wow, it's really, really light. I can lift this one up so easily. Miso Ramen. Okay, y'all, take a look at this packaging. The photo is not looking as delicious. It looks like a scramble mess, but it might taste good. So Snapdragon is the brand in charge of the pho, which I actually really enjoy. There is eight of these little cup noodles in here. So this is coming in at 280 calories, five grams of protein. It's like pretty easy to make. You can either pour hot water in it or you can microwave it. So it comes with a bang, flavor magic. Dry seasoning right here, they call it. Pow, dry seasoning. This packaging is taking me out. Boom, flavor oil. So at least they're having fun with the packaging. I respect that. The noodles look like pretty standard ramen instant noodle noodles. I have to say it smells really good. It's gonna be flavorful because that was a lot of seasoning packet and there's a flavor oil at the end. This gives me like very comforting, classic instant noodle vibes. I like that they're thin threads of noodles. It's very fun to eat. It's quite soft. It's not soggy. It's got a nice chew to it. It's very slurpable, I would say. I know it's supposed to be a miso ramen broth. It definitely tastes more like a very light beef broth. You know why this tastes kind of good to me is because the noodles actually taste like the Maruchan instant noodles. Uh, the Maruchan one is obviously thinner and wide. This one is round and thin, but like the cup noodle taste, that's definitely there. The broth, I wouldn't say it's amazing for how many uh, flavor packets and seasoning they use. It's not overly salty, surprisingly. You know, I feel like if you add a little bit of chili crisp in here, add a little bit more spice, it could really be a great hit the spot snack. For what it is, it's not bad. It either tastes like a very light beef broth or a mushroom broth. I can actually see people liking this item because they can add a lot of stuff to it. And it's eight you know, of these little guys in a box, which is a great value. Would I go back for it? Unfortunately, no. Tell you why, it's because there are better cup noodle options at Costco. I think if they fix up this broth to be a little bit more creamier, uh, it could give more of that miso ramen taste. Yeah, there you go. -da, da -da -da -da. What, y'all got Korean corn dogs here now? What? Guys, durian ice cream. Oh wait, <laughs> we have to come back for this. I see another item that I wanted to try. I'm telling y'all now that it's getting colder, we're getting the soupy noodly items, including this one. This is shrimp and snow crab hot pot. Oh, this looks like a large bowl of noodles with all goodies inside. Let's try it. This item is so fancy. Shrimp and snow crab Asian style hot pot. Oh, you get two of these hot pots in one box. I was thinking it was just one giant one. There's so much stuff. It comes with the lo mein, that's what it looks like, noodles. It comes with the hot pot base. No crab, shrimp, okay. This is carrots, maybe spinach in there. With lo mein, bok choy, shiitake mushrooms, and julienne carrots. It does say you wanna thaw the frozen pouches in the refrigerator or run it under cold water. So I'm gonna run all of it under cold water and then cook. item confuses me. <laughs> I don't know if I cooked it wrong or something. The noodles look a little sus. So pieces of the snow crab did get mixed in there. I don't know why the color, it looks more like yellowy, egg noodle-y, but I will give it to them for including fresh noodle versus, you know, like instant noodles or something. It's looking interesting. That's so, <laughs> 
That's the only way I can describe it. It's looking interesting. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna dip in some of this broth. Here's the noodles. What? That tastes kind of weird. Pieces of the snow crab. There's actually quite a lot. And here we go. The snow crab is really good. The snow crab is all up in there, tangling in this web of noodles. Ooh. Hmm. I truly have no idea what this product was trying to do. <laughs> like what? Pros. The snow crab, delicious. Uh, there's quite a lot of shrimp. I like that they added veggies. I like that they added fresh noodles. Cons, noodles don't taste very good. They taste uh, very soggy. They taste artificial. It's a seafood broth, but it's too seafoody where it's too fishy. It looks spicy, it's not spicy. You're just confused what you're eating, honestly. I'm not even gonna <laughs> Why didn't they just call it like seafood noodles? They try to replicate the hot pot experience at home, but the taste is just not there. It tastes weird, like a mishmash of seafood. Mishmash. <laughs> Oh. oh, the carrots are disgusting. <laughs> oh, the carrots are like so raw still. Did I not cook it right? So I love carrots when you can't taste the raw carrot flavor. And these carrots are raw, even though it was boiling in that soup. So I'm a little bit confused. The only thing great about this is the snow crab. I'm gonna take a bite of this shiitake mushroom here. Even that tastes weird. Snow crab. That one tastes way too salty. No. I wouldn't get this. When I was pouring some of the seafood into the soup, there was like liquid with it. I tried not to get the liquid into the soup, but that definitely contributed to how seafood and fishy the broth ended up tasting. And now that, you know, the carrot is seeping more into the broth, it tastes like a seafood carrot broth. Cause it says hot pot. And I was like, I, I don't know what kind of hot pot y'all eating here. Very, very salty and fishy. Too much different flavors going on. Just take out that snow crab package and make your own broth. This is a big no for me. I wouldn't go back for it. Uh, let me know if you guys tried it and had a better experience <laughs> because I don't know what just happened. Here is Korean rice cake soup. Look at this giant pack. I think it's perfect for the holiday season, the upcoming cold weather. So let's try it. Dakguk, Korean rice cake soup. Soup. Ooh, look at this luxurious packaging. It's a tradition to eat rice cake soup on Lunar New Year to celebrate New Year in Korea. Believed to grant good luck for the year and gain a year of age. Yeah. These are the rice cakes. There's actually three packs of these rice cakes. Oh, so simple. These are just the broth packs. Generally, this kind of soup is made with beef and they add like sliced eggs on it. But yeah, it says one egg, ground pepper, chopped green onion, or a teaspoon of sesame oil. It says here that you want to wash the rice cakes before you put it into the broth. I want to bring it over to you, but it's so hot. Mm, but it smells good. I added a little bit of fresh black pepper in there. I didn't want to add the sesame oil yet because I want to taste it. I'm sipping the soup, okay? Yum. That is so flavorful. That is good soup. It's a little bit salty for me. So this particular dish is usually made with beef. So there's more of a savory beef flavor in the broth. So I think to replace that savory saltiness of beef, they just went ahead and added more salt into the soup package. It's very delicious though, I'll tell you what. It's very, very cozy. It's just too salty for me, but because that's such an easy fix, it's something I can overlook for sure. I need oven mitts, that's what I need. Wow, hints of ginger in there. Very, very salty, very savory, but very, very comforting. The rice cake, really chewy and delicious. Mm. Yeah, so fun to chew. <laughs> to good luck and long life for us all. So even though it doesn't say on the ingredients, it does taste like a very milky, creamy chicken broth to me. The more I drink the soup, the more I like it. Guys, I'm such a soup monster. I love drinking soup. Like when I get um, any kind of noodle soup, even pho, I'll drink the broth so fast. I can't help it. With the sliced eggs, it's so good. And you can adjust the amount of soup powder you put in there if you think it's too salty or just add more hot water. You can add mandu or dumplings in there for a more filling meal. And I think it's a wonderful base. And you get three of that in one packet. And if you really want to, you could probably split it up into six meals actually because it's quite a lot of rice cakes, especially if you start adding in other stuff in there. I think it's adjustable, which is what makes this product a pretty good item to have in your pantry, especially if you grew up with it or you crave this type of uh, dish all the time. 
There we go. Yeah. There's one more item that I cannot find anywhere, but it says it's available online. I'm gonna ask the friend, and if I can't find it, I have to cheat a little bit and I have to go to H Mart and grab it. I think you can get it delivered if you can't find out your Costco. <laughs> and I really wanna try it. I got them. Yeah, that's right. I got the Nochim Black right here and the Nochim Gold. This is top tier investigative journalism right here. At Costco right now, you can get eight of these little dudes for $14.99 and then you can get six of these bigger dudes for $13.99. And even though it may not be in stock, you can get it delivered, that's what I'm saying. I know they're available in other Costco, so if you guys have it, let me know. I selfishly really wanted to try this gold one. This is new and I've tried this before many years ago. I've completely forgotten how it tastes like. So we're gonna compare them side by side. Ha! This content is contenting. This is shin gold with chicken broth. This is what it looks like right here. And it just comes with this packet. Here is the shin black with beef bone broth. A lot of reviews say once you go shin black, you never go back. Well, this one has more seasoning packets in there. Whoa, okay, so they have the soup base powder right here. And then they have this beef bone broth soup base, so it's Double soup base. Mm. For this one, the dry seasoning and the veggies are already in there. Let's go ahead and add in the hot water. Alexa, four minutes on the clock. It's a good day when you can eat two shin ramen, shin black with beef bone broth. Mmm. Why is that so spicy? <gasps> the spice is just in my throat. Wow, that is good soup. Guys, I need to eat this one right away so I can compare them while they're perfectly cooked. This is the gold one. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like a ton of ginger, actually. Mmm. Why is everything so spicy? The verdict is I like the Shin Black more. So the shim black soup, it's creamy, it's beefy, it's more similar to the regular uh, soup base, but with an added extra oomph. Now, this gold version, it's not bad, it's just really gingery. The broth in the gold one is this very deep, creamy chicken broth with a lot of ginger and garlic. And it's very, very flavorful. There's just something about that heavy ginger kick that mix in with the spiciness I don't like so much because it's just like tingling too much. So they look pretty similar, although I think the gold is supposed to be a little bit thinner. The shin black one with beef bone broth is just so good. It's a regular shin ramen soup. It's still very spicy, but it's this added extra beefiness to it, like a beefy savoriness to it that just makes you go, oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna dip some more in this creamy, beefy soup. Mm. This one gives you more like a punch and flavor. I think I would choose the regular or the shin black over uh, the gold for sure. If you're at Costco and they're selling the miso ramen or this one or this one, I would choose one of these over that one. I keep going back to this one. There's just something about this broth that is delicioso. This one, I wouldn't actually go back or buy the whole pack. Um, if I was craving it, I would just buy the individual one at H Mart. It's just not one that I would run to if I'm craving ramen but it's not bad, it's still delicious. By the way, in terms of spice level, the shin black is definitely spicier because the chicken broth, you know, it's just a little bit lighter. Um, so I think based on your palate, it's just if you want a deep savory beef broth or a light and creamy chicken broth. All right, while I eat more, let me know what you guys think if you try the shin black and the shin gold. And I also really wanna try the shin green, which is a mushroom broth. I'm gonna say another super criminal thing because last time I was like, I like cold food, what about it? And uh, this time I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm nervous. I love it when you kind of leave the ramen sitting there for a bit longer than you're supposed to. So the noodles expand and get really, really thick and it soaks in all the broth. Some people would say, well, isn't that soggy? And I say, no, it's just more flavor. Okay, but don't tell anyone, okay? Don't tell anyone. It's just all noodles in here at this point. It's just all noodles. <laughs> Down to the last drop. Shin black, y'all. This video is the video I'm going to finally try the yakisoba. I have been avoiding reviewing this item for so long and I'm not entirely sure why. I just feel like it's like a stable, you know, and everyone's tried it, but okay. Here we go, let's review this. Yakisoba, Japanese style stir fry noodles with crisp vegetables and a savory sauce. This is the ultimate noodle haul and therefore we gotta try it. Ani no Moto, they are responsible for the really good 
chicken karage that you can get at the Asian grocery store. So I have very high hopes then for this one. Oh, what the? Damn, even the glue is good. <laughs> it just come in, up in little packs like this with the, no the vegetables on top and the noodles. You can microwave it or you can put it on the stove top. Uh, I'm gonna microwave it because it says the preferred method and because I am lazy. Tear open, corner the bag to vent before heating and then microwave on high for three minutes. Look at this little hole there, huh? <laughs> While it's microwaving, we have like a minute and 30 seconds left. Can we do a show and tell? I wanna show y'all, I've been taking pottery classes and look, look at these little bowls I made. Look at that. Oh, and I made this one too. I also glazed them. It took forever. Let me tell you, they took forever, but I, oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna show you this set. With a nice little, look at that. <laughs> All right, and this one. Wait, wait, look at my cups, look at my cups. Look, guys, come on. Adorable, okay. Aren't they cute? I'm very proud of them. Why does this low key look really good? I don't know why, I didn't expect the noodles to look that good after you microwave it. There's like pepper, broccoli, edamame. Yum. <laughs> Wait, why is it so good? <laughs> I've just been skipping on these this entire time. It's so flavorful. What the heck? Just microwave this? 400 calories, 11 grams protein. I'm shook, guys. This tastes delicious. You know what these noodles taste like? When you go to a Chinese restaurant and you order takeout, and then they have like a tray of chow mein there, and you're like, can I get chow mein as my base, and then like beef and broccoli or something? It tastes like that chow mein, and it's, Delicious. It's like it's stir fried in this soy sauce mirin mix. Mmm. Wait, they're so good. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm dancing. I'm trying to find something wrong with it, but there's not really like when it comes to microwave food, when we just microwave and it tastes this good out of, in this case, the pouch, that's incredible. There's not much that I would actually change about it. There's actually quite a lot of vegetable, broccoli, bell pepper, cabbage, enough vegetable for this amount of noodles. It is quite oily, I would say, but besides that, this is an example of what a good microwave food should be like. Right out of the package, delicious. I wouldn't change a thing. Wow. Oh, well, I was prepared to hate on it because I was like, how good can this be? <laughs> you know, but, but it's good. <laughs> the noodles almost have this bounciness to it that I really enjoy. Mm. There you guys go. Such a great, easy meal to have in your freezer when you're craving a little stir fry noodle moment. This is an item I would actually go back for. The vegetables are still crunchy. I'm shocked, this is delicious. Oh. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am now one giant noodle. I am the noodle. <laughs> okay, I've never eaten so much noodle <laughs> in like the past, four days of filming this. I will be eating vegetables for the next 72 hours to make up for my, my diet recently. Of course, we'll go back and try all the other new items that have came out that are not noodles and not soup. I'm actually traveling soon, so I just wanna make sure I get all the hauls and things done while I'm home and while I'm here. And then when I'm traveling, then we can film some fun travel stuff, which ooh, I'm so excited about. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys being here and creating this little Costco community. It's always a good time at Costco. And let me know in the comments below which of the items that we try today would you love to try? But noodles only, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, cats. You know when the you're at a cat show and they're like, this breed of cat, beautiful fur, very nice thick body. Wow, so luscious, the perfect domestic short hair. Look at its gorgeous patterns. Wow, just majestic. Yes, just majestic. <laughs> you still watching? Did you give this video a thumbs up yet? Hey, bye, bye. Wow, she's really enjoying this. I'm operating on one single brain cell because I've been filming this video for four days. That's right. I had to wear this for four days and not get anything spilled on it. But I did get it spilled. I just flipped it on the other side so you don't notice.